Uh, next, we'll look at offline optimization, where experiments are manually performed by people uh, as opposed to running everything in a closed loop and assuming that this all takes place on the software side. So this is particularly useful for uh, running experiments where you have existing data that you want to use, and then you're going to manually run each iteration. Uh, for example, running an experiment in a wet, wet lab, uh, mixing chemicals, measuring uh, values on, on equipment, uh, and then feeding that back into the algorithm. So for this one, uh, we'll, uh, this is something that can be run on a collab, for example, installing the X platform uh, or run locally. Uh, and we'll be adding existing experiments uh, to our X client using the attached trial uh, interface. And we'll also be suggesting a single next experiment to run. And then uh, that data can be added back in via the attached trial um, and repeated in a loop in the notebook. And that can serve as sort of your optimization history inside of the notebook and uh, offline as well if you want to save it somewhere else. So uh, here we've got uh, uh, bringing in our generation strategy and generation step. We'll be using a custom generation strategy uh, so that we skip the initialization with Sobel points. Uh, depending on your experiment, you may or may not want to uh, skip or reduce the number of the quasi-random search points. For example, if your existing data is highly concentrated, uh, then it may be good to uh, use some of the Sobel uh, sampling points to get a better feel for other parameters in the search space that you can find. Uh, so here we uh, are using the service API. We'll use Axe Client, and we'll, we have uh, five different parameters here. Uh, we'll call them filler A, filler B, resin A, resin B, resin C. Uh, so as if we're optimizing a composite material. And then we have some just fake uh, training data here where uh, each of these rows sum to 1.0. In other words, uh, it sums to unity, uh, meaning 100% uh, of uh, the composition. So these are fractional values. Uh, we'll convert this to a data frame and uh, then just create some random uh, uh, objective values uh, to attach here. We'll create our parameters. Uh, we have the name corresponding to each of our components here. Uh, and we have it as a range parameter, and we'll say that the bounds can be between 0 and 1. And since this is uh, a case where uh, we have an equality constraint that all, the, all five parameters have to sum to 1, what we can do is reparameterize this uh, to say uh, we drop the last column and say the sum of all the previous columns need to be less than or equal to one. Uh, and then on our side, what we get to say is uh, as long as that constraint is satisfied, we can compute that missing or hidden uh, column by taking one minus the sum of the other four. Uh, so let's go over that. In a little bit more detail here. So we've got our composition constraint. Uh, like I mentioned, the first four parameters will be set to be less than or equal to one. Um, and notice here that we dropped out resin C uh, from the search space. We'll create our generation strategy, which skips the Sobel sampling step, the quasi-random generation, and goes straight to using the GPEI model. Uh, and then we instantiate our Axe client with this generation strategy, create our experiment, and we'll pass in our parameters as well as our parameter constraints, uh, which is just a list of uh, our, our single constraint wrapped in a list here. Um, and we'll uh, say that we want to minimize uh, the dummy objective values that we, that we set up. From here, this is where we'll attach the existing train, training data. Um, so we'll loop through and grab uh, each row uh, from our training data frame, convert it to a dictionary. Uh, so we'll attach the trial, and then we'll complete the trial, uh, passing the trial index, um, being just the enumerated values, and then our raw data, which is uh, 
the training values, um, these scalars uh, sampled from the Y train very well. Then we produce this single next suggested experiment. And this could also be a batch of experiments based on the tutorial given earlier on batch experimentation. Uh, so here we get our next experiment. We can take a look at what that is, um, where it's essentially putting filler A and filler B at zero. And then, or actually all three of these at uh, zero and then setting resin B to uh, 1.0. Now this isn't uh, super realistic, but just take it as kind of a, a, a dummy example. Um, we'd want the constraint that uh, there needs to be some, uh, you know, perhaps that like filler A plus filler B, uh, like the contribution of the fillers has to be within a certain range. Um, and then we'll use uh, this to, excuse me, um, yeah, find the best parameters predicted uh, for the experiment uh, so far um, out of everything that's been tried. So then uh, at this point, we can go back and uh, you know, go outside uh, of the optimization framework, uh, conduct the experiment, uh, and then use this attach and complete trial interface uh, in a new cell uh, down below, uh, do that, and then repeat the uh, get next trial uh, to get our next experiment to be run. Also mentioned that there's another notebook tutorial that goes into some more detail about uh, as the user really probing into the model as you're deciding on the next set of candidates, uh, and giving this human oversight to it. I won't go through this notebook, but just know that it exists in the Axe tutorials, uh, and we'll move on to the next one.